Blue racer snakes are an endangered species. They have been here for thousands of years and are a vital part of our natural heritage. The only hope left for them in Canada is here on Pelee Island. As its name suggests, the blue racer is a fast snake that can move at almost seven kilometers an hour. People usually only catch a glimpse of this species as it disappears quickly through the tall grass or other vegetation. This is the blue racer. Uh, it's a, one of the largest snakes we have in Ontario. They are, like you see here, typically a very uniform gray color on the back. They have a little bit of that uh, blue sheen to the sides. They can be more blue or less blue. It, it really depends on the individual, but they always have kind of a, a more cream belly. They have a little bit of a blue tinge as well. And if you look at the heads, if you get a close enough look at it, uh, they have a black mask around their eyes and they have a brown nose uh, and that really white uh, cream chin. Nestled in the western basin of Lake Erie, Pelee Island is a hot spot of biodiversity and the last remaining refuge in Canada for a number of species, including the Blue Racer. So my name is Brian Wolf. I'm a master's student at the University of Toronto. I'm doing my research on the Blue Racer snake. We don't know how many Blue Racers are in Ontario, on Pelee Island, where they exist. They used to be found on the mainland in Ontario in a few different spots. Um, but because of habitat loss and persecution, um, they no longer exist there. This is the last remaining population. We don't know how many there are, uh, but it's assumed to be less than 200. The main reason that the blue racer is endangered is due to loss of habitat. Like many species at risk in the province, they have suffered from human activities, from the draining of wetlands, cutting down of forests, and from turning native grasslands into farm fields. Thanks to the combined efforts of Pili residents, environmental organizations, and governments, many habitats on the island are being protected and even restored. Almost 20% of the island is under some form of conservation easement, which is great news for the Blue Racer. So there's a couple different habitat needs for the snake. Um, the main one that they definitely need every year is an overwintering site, so the hibernacula that it's called, or hibernation site. A place where they can get underground, so they need to get into either the bedrock or tree root systems, mammal burrows. Um, it's where they go to in the fall, and then they'll bask for a little while trying to catch some uh, some sun to warm up, and they'll go down for, for the winter, and they spend up to five, maybe even six months down there, so they need to be able to do that in a place where they can they can survive and do it safely. So that's, that's kind of half their year right there is them sleeping underground. And then the second half, they immediately start going to look for mates and foraging. And that kind of occurs in those uh, open canopy areas, prairies, savanna, grassland. They really like the, the sun a lot. So anytime there's like 30% canopy or less, that's kind of the typical habitat you'll find them in. Yeah, so this is a little tiny baby blue racer. Uh, it would have just been hatched out in this past week. Um, blue racers have uh, two different kind of forms. It's the babies, and the, when they hatch out, they have this kind of pattern uh, down their back, very similar to the eastern fox snake or the lake of your water snake. As they grow up and they mature, they lose that pattern and become a solid color on their back. While loss of suitable habitat is the main threat to the survival of the racers, road mortality also contributes to their dwindling populations. Snakes and other reptiles get killed on the roads a lot, and blue racers are no exception to that, especially the, these little babies. When they hatch, they, they hatch out and they go explore and try and find those new areas to hunt, to find their first meal, and eventually to hibernate. And to do that, they cross a lot of roads. And so being so little, you're not going to be able to see this guy on a dirt road, uh, maybe on a paved road. But so a lot of people either driving too fast or not looking, uh, mistakenly run over these little snakes. And it can be a big loss to the population here that's already endangered. Unfortunately, many people are afraid of snakes, even though most snakes in Canada are completely harmless. And not only are they harmless, but they actually provide an important service to us. 
these guys are great for pest management. They are going to eat all of the mice around your house. They're going to eat all of the mice around your farm. And uh, they, they take care of a lot of uh, pest control and disease control that way because rodents carry a lot of diseases. And, and when these guys eat them, those diseases are taken out of the system. So what can we do to help blue racers survive here? As a landowner, you can leave a bit of property in a natural state to create some wildlife habitat. If you are a visitor, please respect the speed limits and watch out for wildlife crossing the roads. And if you encounter a blue racer, just admire it and let it be. Protecting and recovering species at risk and their habitats is a key part of conserving Ontario's biodiversity. No matter where you live, you can help save a species.